Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. did the same till early one morning a sailor boy came ashore and he's the one that turned me into a dirty little whore he asked me for a candlestick to light him up to bed he asked me for my handkerchief to wind around his head and me being a little fool and thinking it no harm i jumped in bed beside him to keep my sailor warm singing home boys home it's where i want to be Home, boys, home, with the girl on either knee, with that little ribbon tarpaulin hat and that coat of navy blue. Let him climb the rigging like his daddy climbed a pew. <laughs> he rumbled me, he tackled me, he screwed me to the wall. He never let me catch my breath, I got no sleep at all. He up me and he down me and he caught me out and in. He fucked me black and blue, though of course it was a sin. And early in the morning, before the break of day, he handed me a ten-pound note, and these words did he say, Take this, my darling, for the damage I have done. Nine months from now, you'll have a daughter or a son. And if it be a daughter, nap the darling on your knee. And if it be a son, send the bastard off to sea. With that little ribbon tarpaulin hat and that coat of navy blue. Let him climb the rigging like his daddy climbed up you. <laughs> <laughs> Morning. Yep, yep. Come on. Yeah. Hey, we don't need that horse passing all over the place. Down.
don't think you should just be wandering around here, friend. Not a thing happens around here without an Odrisco saying so. Understand me? Consider this a warning. You really shouldn't rile me. Ain't wise. Right, then. You're getting robbed. Nice and easy now. You got a death wish I'm about to make come true. All right, simmer down. What's your game? Fine. Chick Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, get back here. You owe us money. No, go. The more I chase, the more you owe. Yeah. The money's mine. Place to bargain, boy. I'm begging you. Just untie me, I'll tell you. Okay, okay. There's a map. It's in my pocket. A map? Why can't none of you fools just pay? God damn treasure hunt. You're lucky I ain't taking your teeth right there as well. In my pocket. There ain't no reason to tie me like this. You got the map. Do the decent thing. Well, aren't you gonna untie me?
Let's get. Ain't no one gonna help me. Stop, come on. Holy Moses. Save me. Damn it. Listen. Come on, man. All right, boy. Enough already. Yep. My horse collapsed. I, I, I don't know why. It's my friends. My legs all numb. Please hurry. I'll see what I can do. Yes. <gasps> yes. Just lift as hard as you can. Oh, thank you. Thank oh, you. You saved sure. me. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Oh. Sure. I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? Well, thank you. You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. Yeah. I don't normally travel this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Mm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Yeah. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Well, just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. This sure sounds like you're in a hard position. Yeah. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. now. Just a little further. How do you do? You this bored you want to make an enemy?
we're here. Thank you for all your help. Everything going good? You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You be well. Ma'am, will you be all right from here? I'll find my way. Thank you, sir. Oh, hell, the missus has me out. Hunting damn near every day wants to more. sell enough hides to send... you stepping in there. Those bastards been turning the screw on me from day one, saying I gotta pay them protection money. I told them where to stick it, and well, I guess you just saw how that panned out. You watch yourself, all right? Stay out of trouble. I'll try. What happened to you two? Like dogs. You wouldn't give us no guns, Pa. This is the worst idea I've ever had. We're with you on that. Okay, boy. Knock, knock, Mr. Rope. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you me, speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. You borrow from a German man? Aha, uh. German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, the no, Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money, money that you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, oh, no. No. Nie, nie. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu, znajdę ci pieniądze. No, still don't understand you. 
God damn it! You have a debt to Harris Trouts! Pay up! Stop! You stim I'm shiwe! Ah, no, 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 no! Please, no! Uh, don't have money, but... But I uh, have this. It's, it's good. It's good. It's valuable. It's... It's Varsava, yes. I have your things. Okay? I have anything in here or out there? Yes. Don't even speak English. It's very valuable. Good? Not good yet. No, no, no. Yes, 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 yes. What you got behind there? So, I don't me. Move aside. You must have come here with something. I don't I'm a kind of test. Just keep quiet. Okay, that should about cover things. Wait. Yep. Would you be interested in some friendly competition? I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Me? A real gunslinger? <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles wins. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> Shoot! Easy, man. Damn it all! How the hell did you beat me, huh? Ugh. Better shot, I suppose. Ah, oh, that didn't make me happy at all. How about we raise the stakes, huh? All right, let's do it. Aha, uh -huh. that's a good call, amigo. Okay, whoever shoots four birds out of the sky first wins. Simple enough. Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah, there they go. Shoot! Stupid! Stupid! Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, 
so you can shoot, huh? <laughs> ah, here it is, okay? Man of my word. Appreciate it. Sure. <laughs> Better watch out next time. You'll see. Just not your day, huh? Yeah, I guess not. Guess I need more practice, huh? Hold! gotta be such a goddamn performance with you. Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take that tone with me. I thought you said you loved I me. I do. I do. But what I get paid ain't enough for one person, let alone two. Your money's gotta be your problem now. The only problem I got is this bleating going on in my ear. Now, lay off it, Lily. God damn it. Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then, I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn money. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Money, leave me hey, alone. You know what I do to thieves? Law hear about this. I didn't steal that. It's a debt. Damn it. Ain't my concern, no What sir. do you want? Keep your mouth shut. No! Please, no! All right. I hope we understand each other. Help me! Don't make me teach you another lesson. You're yeah. a son of a bitch! Please, God! <gasps> oh, you done lost your mind. I won't ask again. I swear I ain't do nothing. I presume that means yes. Don't make me come looking for you. Somebody help me! Here. I'm sick of this shit. Okay, boy. We're back on track, more or less. Yep, money and food. I made rather a fool of myself again. Mr. Arthur, I told Dutch I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down here, what they want? I have no idea. They see you? I don't think so. Okay, well, thanks for letting me know, Kieran. 
Mm-hmm. I wouldn't worry too much about it. You know something? I was married once. You were? <sighs> Only it turns out that she was already married. So I was party to bigamy. Just another sin to add to my list. What happened? <laughs> the law caught up with us in San Francisco. She jumped aboard a ship and sailed to Shanghai, I believe. I suppose I still am married in a way, but it hasn't been terribly fulfilling. No. <laughs> I suppose not. You recovered, Dan. Yes, sir, and thank you. It won't happen again. Yes, it will. Okay, I'll catch you later, Dan. I suppose. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Fine. Our accounts are up to date. Side sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Hey, Arthur. Yep, yep. Okay, boy.
Let's get. Steer clear, else you want a few new holes. Go Just get lost. Just minding my own business. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. You owe me money. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm... I'm not running anywhere. I'm... I'm... I'm, do I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please, please, show some compassion. Please. Drows told me you needed a beating. You saying he was right? What will that solve? Now, wouldn't paying up have been a little easier? Your dad's caught you, mister. And it ain't letting go. Pay the money. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of <gasps> charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Ah, 
how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Then, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Karen? Hi, Billy. Okay, I think it's time for bed. boys keeping well I reckon we're on the turn now our luck's turning we're going to be fine I knew Dutch would have us right I never doubted him for a minute nope. bad business when baby passes bad business when anyone passes but we're going to make it Dutch will see us right yeah of course he will exactly mr. Williamson of course he will. He's the ideal. The American this country was set up to create. He'll see us right. Excuse me. Good night, gentlemen. All right. Hello, Arthur. Everyone's favorite uncle. Hey, Arthur. 